Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley and today I'm looking at the Orico MR10 Mini RAID Solid State Array Docking Station for Mac Mini. Um, the great people over at Orico sent this to me and I can't wait to give it a try. I will pair it with these the two Orico J10 PCIe 3.0 NVMe M.2 SSDs. So uh, I will unbox the MR10 and go over its features real quick, and then we'll take it over to the Mac test desk and see what it can do. Okay. Hopefully it wasn't damaged in shipping. Looks like it was protected very well. Alright, comes with the manual. Here's the docking station itself. Very nice. Looks just like a little Mac Mini. Should fit right on top. And then it comes with a power adapter. and a USB-C cable and looks like some thermal pads and rubber grommets or something yeah probably to keep it in there okay all right let's do the ports okay in the front we have an SD and TF 3.0 slots we have a USB-C 10 gigabit per second, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a USB-A 10 gigabit per second, USB-A 5 gigabit per second, some vents on the side, oh, and even an indicator about what it's in. RAID 0, RAID 1, normal PM mode or cloning information and the percentages. Very interesting. Okay, and then on the back, we have DC power, USB C with power delivery, 60 watts. You can actually charge a MacBook or other USB device. You've got the um, RAID key for RAID 0, RAID 1, PM mode, which I believe is normal mode where it just has two independent drives, and cloning, which is cool. I just barely bought a cloner too. Then you have the 4K 60 Hertz HDMI and a gigabit Ethernet port. And with that, you can mirror or extend your desktop. So that's cool. Okay, let's uh, take this top off. Oop. Yeah, just kind of snaps right off. And then as you can see, here's where we put the two SSDs. And we may as well install them now. And it accepts 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280 
sizes. It's a dual NVMe and SATA, so it takes M key NVMe PCIe, B and M key NVMe PCIe, and M uh, key NGF F SATA, and it does not accept B key NGF F SATA. So yeah, let's get the drives installed. Okay. Oh yeah, anyway, this uh, set button is very important. You actually have to uh, put what mode you're going to go into, RAID 0, RAID 1, normal, or disk cloning, and then Put this uh, thing in for five seconds and hold it down and if it blinks then everything will uh, take. It's just, it's a set switch. Okay, let's get these in. Now the drive, yeah it came with two thermal pads and a heat sink also. Uh, this whole case acts as a heatsink. Okay, let's put these in. Just put this, the bigger side up and just flush like that. Looks like you just put it in there and it'll stick down in there and you just twist. Keeps it in there nice. And then apply thermal pad. Like so. Twist. And then attempt to put on the thermal pad. Okay, and then I believe simply replace the lid. Just make sure that's the front. Very simple. Yeah, I think I'll just set it to the RAID 0 for now. Upper one and lower two, but it did say to wait until it's plugged in, I believe. Arco sure makes it nice to plug and play. I mean, put the drives in, put the lid back on, set your RAID switch, and put it to use. Um, with its thermal pads and its aluminum enclosure, and it also has a fan system which has vents it makes everything nice and cool running so that's very good okay let's take it over to the mac test desk and hook it up to the mini and uh, do some speed testing and stuff and some general setup okay i am back and i need to hook up the power switch 
All right, and then put it, hook up the computer, and then switch to the RAID mode I need, which is RAID 0. And then it should show up on the computer. And I should be able to initialize that one. Okay, that's showing. Four terabytes. That's it. No name is just, yeah, that's the monitor. Cool. I think that was all there was to that. Okay, I erased it and called it Oracle Raid. And it shows up right there. And it is RAID 0. It's shown a total of 4 terabytes. Both of them, both the drives merged. So let's uh, try some black magic. Oracle RAID. Pretty much up to a thousand write and read, almost nine hundred. Which, of course, it would be. It's ten uh, gigabits per second. So very good. And you've got read, or you can turn it to normal mode and have two separate disks. I kind of like this because it makes it all one big disk. But, you know, everyone has a different purpose. I mean, some may have liked RAID 1, where it makes both of them 2 terabytes. So, you know. Okay, and now I started Amorphous, which is like Crystal Disk Mark. Let's choose the Oracle RAID. Try a one gigabit. Nice. Now for right. Very good. And now we will try a 64 gig. Okay. Took a while for it to prepare, but I've got both. 932 and on read. And right about 887. Up tight. Oh, yeah, found it right away. Let me zoom in. Sorry for all the camera stuff. Oh, yeah, instant. Very fast. Good.
Okay, now I, uh, I'm gonna try the Ethernet. And some, and a USB drive. Yes, there's the uh, USB drive. UEFI NTFS, so uh, yeah, it's a Windows installer. And it's got a networks. Okay, as you can see, it is connected to USB. One gigabit Ethernet. And then, yeah, there's the, the file. So yeah, all the ports work. It's running really well. RAID 0. Awesome. All right, this thing is totally cool, and I'd like to uh, thank Oracle for sending it to me. What a great addition to my uh, workflow. Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank my subscribers and my viewers. And if you like this sort of thing, please leave a comment below. And uh, like and subscribe. And if you want to see when my next video is out, then click the bell button. For notifications and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.